My name's Roger Thornton and I'm going to talk a bit about um, Raspberry Pi Zero W and uh, some of the complexities that are involved in the design. I work for Raspberry Pi as principal hardware engineer and um, I was responsible for the design of Pi Zero W. Raspberry Pi is a, a company that uh, designs and sells very small, low-cost computers that are primarily designed to get kids into programming but also used by hobbyists in the industry as well. Pi Zero W uh, was launched back in February. Um, we've just sold 250,000 units, which is a fantastic thing to do in quite a short time. Um, it's a computer with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, HDMI, and uh, USB, all for $10. Uh, it's tiny, it's the you know, size of a stick of chewing gum. Um, one of the, the one of the big challenges in it is, you know, in something that costs $10, is trying to make everything cheap. So I'm going to talk a bit about uh, how the PCB design and using Cadence tools um, help build this product. This is a quick comparison of the previous version we had, which was a uh, which was the uh, the board which didn't have uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you can see actually that yeah, every part on the board, except for the connectors, has moved a bit. And so having these sort of intuitive um, kind of option-driven move um, menus from uh, the Cadence give you, uh, allowed us to pick up sort of complicated blocks of routing so we could pick up the, the fan out of the whole processor and move it around the board um, very easily so we didn't have to redo any of the fan out and all the kind of known good layout work. We're also able to take advantage of sub drawings so we could pull good layout work from Pi 3, which the radio was from, and, and place it on there without having to redo all that work. So it's this sort of being able to move easily and copy quickly that help uh, build the design properly. As with any, as with any product that costs $10, and um, everything's got to be kept to a minimum. Um, and one of the important and quite large fat, yeah, pieces of uh, the bomb cost is the PCB. So what we had to do was take uh, very simple, cheap PCB technology and do complicated things with it. And that's where Cadence really, um, really helped. Um, so that meant we had to use through-hole wires. Uh, we had to have, only had six layers, which is very congested when you think about delivering a, a good power delivery network and uh, routing all the signals that are involved and giving enough space around the RF circuitry. Uh, and also, um, the, the bigger the track and gap width, the cheaper the, cheaper the PCB costs. So being able to set all this up in the constraints manager that Codings provide and then um, yeah, you're given interactive DRC errors as, as and when they happen. So it was very sort of easy to see what was and wasn't possible. Um, as with any good product launching, you've got to have a good case to put it in. Uh, so this is the, the case that we came up with and being able to um, export the board as DXF and send it to the, 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 the case designers was a really simple and easy thing. And it meant that we could all be happy that everything was where we placed it and the, the case was going to come back properly um, and so I think it, you know, it came out brilliantly but it's also a sort of true testament of what you know, good accurate CAD modeling can do between different companies and I guess the uh, the final thing to touch on is sort of you know, the ways that um, the board are made cheap so we have to keep it single-sided so that it only goes to surface mount uh, manufacturer once and so that added a whole new raft of headaches for, for routing, but it also um, you know, means we can achieve this $10 price point. Um, so I think to sort of summarize is, is you know, Pi Zero W is you know, it's a $10 PC, which is quite, a test, you know, quite an impressive feat, but it's, it's basic PCB technologies built using powerful cadence design tools. And is that that link of the two that means that we can achieve these things. I mean, without powerful software, we wouldn't be able to build cheap PCBs. Uh, and so I think that's the real um, the takeaway here from this. So uh, thank you for, for listening to me. And um, yeah, as I say, Pi Zero W is on sale, so go out and buy one. Thank you. Sure.